What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Bass Union. My name is Joseph Rosco, and today we're going to be fishing Lake Orville. So you just can't keep me away from this place. I actually guide out here um, two, usually two to three days a week and the other days I'm building baits, uh, selling to retail shops. Uh, as you saw in the last video we just got in a tackle warehouse. Um, we just picked up a new location, Weiss Lake Tackle and Outdoors in Alabama. Thank you guys for the support. Any free time we get, I try to be on the water. Always trying to uh, own my craft and just get better, try new things, try to catch fish on baits that I've never done before, uh, new colors, and just keep trying and experimenting different things. Other than that, you know, today we got a few hours to kill. We're gonna go fishing, have a good time, and this weekend, we actually got the Wild West Bass Trail. We got a team tournament, and I'll be fishing that with my buddy Chang Zhang. You've seen him in some of the other videos from earlier this year. Uh, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. I haven't been to the Delta in ages. I mean, it's been over a year. Probably the last time was with uh, maybe Bearded Bass, and it was, it's been that long. So, you know, we got that tournament this weekend. And then the following weekend, we have another tournament on Lake Trinity for the Phil's Prop. So two weekends in a row, we're gonna have some tournaments. So that's gonna be a lot of fun, catching up with our buddies, fishing, catching some bigs, hopefully, cross fingers. So, you know, wanna, wanna stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna hit this boat, unload it, get it in the water, see what damage we can do. So if you guys go fishing by yourself a lot, I gotta show you this investment I made that makes life so much easier when you're launching and loading the boat. So I picked up this Drado boat latch. So right now, it's still hooked up even though it's, it's unlatched. But you see that, that rope right there? Once I get in the boat, once I pull it, it undoes it and the boat will slide down the trailer. So right now I can take my time I'm going to step on the back of the boat, hop in the front, undo it, it's going to slide down. It just makes it so much easier. Not a sponsor of the channel, I purchased it with my own money, but it has made life so much easier launching and loading the boat. And start the motor. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then when I'm ready to load the boat, I literally just drive it on and it clicks and holds the boat in place. And I can hop on, get on my trick steps, drop down, jump in the truck, tow the boat off. The new ramp here at Loafer Creek is awesome. You got six lanes, two full docks, plenty of access. And on top of that, the spillway just opened. So this place is looking really good right now if you wanna get out and fish. And a little piece of advice for you youngsters out there. You guys have a dream, chase it. Work hard, grind, find a way, make it happen, and execute. So the water's super clear right here. But the last few trips, man, I have been whacking them on moving baits. A lot of reaction, jerk baits, glide baits, Alabama rigs, um, you name it. These fish are shallow and they're chewing. So right away, I'm gonna hit this little windblown bank real steep wall, see if I can pull any fish with the glide bait. Oh, there's one, there's one. A little better, a little bit. Just a little better. Not much better, but a little better. <laughs> see, he got it. There we go. I'll take it. I need something bigger though. If you can catch anything over two pounds, that's that's gold out here. So that's that's usually my my goal. I try to find baits that catch bigger than average fish. And if you come out here for the first time, you're gonna catch a lot of one to one and a half pounders. But then when you start getting the twos, two and a half, three pounders, you're onto something. There's one. 
little better. Got to head first too. Oh, look at that. <laughs> By, by no means a giant, but they're getting bigger. I will take it. Man. Little chunk. Gotta love it. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel. We've been switching colors, gone through probably six different colors. That bone really slowed down. Uh, I think this one's called a crystal shad. Man, that's that's how you want them to hit though. Thing slammed it. I got a feeling I might be throwing this thing all day if I can keep getting bit and just hope for a big one to show up see if we could do that screw it so yeah that's the plan guys we're gonna be throwing an s waiver all day as long as we got this cloud cover i'm confident when we cover enough water that we'll get some bites we might even get a big one there we go man that thing came up and crushed it Oh, okay, okay, that fish smoked it. <laughs> Good old light trout, classic. Actually got some good hooks on this one. I swapped them out for some gommies. And uh, if the fish hits this, I'm getting them. Man. Got it good. Have to get the pliers out on this one. Okay, let's see, let's see. There we go. Not bad. They're getting bigger. There we go. There we go. That's another decent one. You gotta love it. Man. You got to love it. Tricking these things. Something about that side to side action and just seeing them smoke it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Smoked it. That's how you want it. You want them to hit it. But you just want them to be a little bigger. Man, look at that fish. T boned it. <laughs> I've cycled through probably five different colors. Caught a few on that light trout. Um, had that crystal shad going. And just getting a lot of followers, but no nothing to commit. And I went back to the bone, bone S waiver. Not big, but I'm getting, I'm getting a bite now. So look at that fish, something to try to eat it. See right there, missing a, huh, missing part of its fin. Hmm. But yeah, we'll see. Keep covering ton of water that, that seems to be the trick right now is you gotta you gotta cover a ton of water um but i'm just basically parallel on the bank keeping real tight 
uh, hitting any points, indentations, uh, you know, rock outcroppings, you know, anything that just looks different down the bank. And, um, you know, every once in a while, getting a bite. So let's keep it going. Better one. You are not a better one. Dang it. I was hoping it was a big one. Coming right off that little little point. Whew. Just catching dinks right today. Not really getting anything anything too crazy. I'm not going to lie, it's a lot of fun, but normally when you throw something like this, you're supposed to catch fish a little bigger than that. In miles of bank throwing those S waivers, nothing over two pounds though, catching a lot of numbers, uh, just grinding it out. I got one more bank I'm going to hit, and after that I'm calling it a day. That was so sick. This water's clear. And I saw that fish come up and smoke it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh jeez. Well that's gonna do it for today's video. Had a blast, caught a ton of fish, thrown an S waiver all day. My shoulders are sore, they're aching popping joints are about to fall off but seeing these fish come up and blow up on the bait super cool i'm sure we could have caught them a ton of different ways but today was just one of those days where i wanted to commit to one bait and see how these fish react to it see the different situations where this bait shines and where you can get those bigger bites and unfortunately today we didn't get any big bites but we had some pushing two pounds which is decent for this lake. So, you know, again, nothing too crazy, but learned a lot. And if you guys are struggling with a certain bait or technique, I encourage you to do the same thing. Get out there, bring one rod, and just throw it and throw it in multiple situations until you see where that bait shines. So, if you guys haven't already, like this video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, pick up some jigs, tackle bassunionfishing.com or check out our local dealers or tackle warehouse every purchase goes to support this channel and keeps me doing what i love and bringing you guys content and guiding on lake orville so until next time i'll see you guys later